Today we're making shredded chicken burritos, a great healthy version of burritos you're certain to enjoy. I went ahead and prepared the rice in advance. Our beans are made up, our cheese is shredded, so we're ready to go. All we need to do now is flavor and season our shredded chicken. If you don't know how to make shredded chicken, go to the how-to library. I have a video that shows you how to take a whole chicken and turn it into this. So with that, let's begin. What I have here, like with any chicken, well, let's just say once you shred your chicken, it's kind of like the chicken of the sea. No pun intended, Jessica Simpson. Um, it has the same kind of texture and within reason, it's kind of dry. It just is. So what we want to do is incorporate some of the broth from our chicken that we made earlier. Now you'll see here, there's a layer of fat on top of it. I went ahead and poured all the broth in this, in this container and I put it in the fridge so this way the fat would solidify and rise to the top. So now we can go ahead and scrape the fat off and make our broth as low fat or fat free as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. And so what we're going to do is once I get done with this, I'm going to throw it back in the microwave to go ahead and heat this up and turn it back into a liquid that we can use. Perfect. I'm going to hold this to the microwave and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. And just a minute in the microwave and we're good to go. Now you can see there's a lot of solid particles in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run this through a strainer so this way our broth is as liquid as possible without anything solid in it. At least nothing big and solid. Perfect. Now that we have our broth, we can go ahead and add that to our chicken. Alright, now we're only going to use our broth just to add some moisture to our shredded chicken. We're not adding all that by any stretch. So, what we want to do is obviously get that off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with our cilantro. Cilantro, if you've never worked with it, is like parsley with a kick. And it definitely has a flavor all its own, and it definitely adds to. Mexican dishes like no other. How much we want to use really kind of comes down to you and your personal taste and preference. If you're not familiar with cilantro and you start working with it, um, the best thing I can advise is add a little bit at a time. Add a little bit at a time until you get the flavor that works for you. Because if I recommend something, I'm afraid it may become too cilantro strong for you. All right. All right, let's go ahead and get this added in there. And uh, we're just going to kind of look for a specific look. We're going to kind of go for a look. Um, as far as how much or whatever. Um, but you know what? We can go ahead and get our measuring cups out. We'll start with a half cup and go from there. One bunch would definitely do it. I just happen to use cilantro for something else. There. For measurement's sake, we've got a cup of cilantro. Okay. So, go ahead and get this mixed in here. And you can see I'm just kind of crumbling it with my fingers because, you know, the chicken has little lumps in it from being in the fridge itself. So I just want to loosen this up and get it light and flaky again. Thank you. 
And if you haven't watched the how-to video yet, shredded chicken really does fall apart in your fingers. It becomes so easy to shred, it almost kind of takes the fun out of normal chicken texture. All right, there we go. I think you'll agree that looks pretty good. It has a good blend and mix to it. Now what we're going to do is add our, our seasoned spice. And the, recipes, the recipe for this is on our website, myplatemylife.com. So we get this in there. Mm, I can smell the flavors coming alive. And again, because this is kind of clumpy in, in nature, you want to kind of work between your fingers so that this way even the spice gets blended in with all of it. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some lime. Let me get rid of this. So when it comes to limes, um, if you've never worked with citrus before, what you want to do is roll it on the counter like this. And what it's going to do is it's going to help to break down, break down the fruit a little bit so it becomes easier to juice when you do juice it. All right, so now, Okay, and what we'll do is, what I'll do, you can do this with a fork or your knife if you feel comfortable with it. Just twist it as it juice. And this by chance happens to be a tough line. All right, and I'll show you if you want to use the fork method, this is how I would use a fork. Stab it first because you want to break down the, break down the fiber in it because doing so is going to make it a lot easier. Just don't get too crazy otherwise you'll end up, <laughs> you'll end up bending the prongs on your fork. All right, I might go with the second line. We'll see how this one blends in first. Yeah, we're gonna go with the second line on this bring out a little bit more lime flavor in it. Uh, let me wash my hands. All right. All right. Yeah, these limes have just got tough. I've got limes in my tree in the backyard, but well, lime season's over with, so I'm out of limes. And 
and even though I showed you with a fork earlier because again this the limes I have these are just tough I don't feel like bending my fork so I'm just gonna finish this off with a knife when in doubt there you go and if you have a citrus press that's fine you can go and use it um, I thought about it but because this lime is very very tough I don't think it would my citrus press would work very well for it All right, we'll just add a little, a little of the broth to it, not too much. Uh, again, just to make this a little moister. There we go. Maybe just a hair more. All right, perfect. I know you can hear it. Um, basically, you can see it kind of packs. Yeah, snowball. It kind of packs, which is fine. Um, at least it gives me some idea as to how wet this is. All right. This is about what I'm looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get ourselves cleaned up and start building our burritos. All right. Now that our shredded chicken is flavored and ready to go, let's get started. First thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and lay out saran wrap on the counter because as we build these, we can go ahead and wrap them up. Put them in the fridge. Um, if you want to double the recipe, uh, today we can make five. If you want to double the recipe and go for ten, put some in the fridge for later on this week. Throw some in the freezer for a later date. But needless to say, this way they're wrapped and ready to go when you want them. I've got four plastic wrap laid out because I'm going to have one uh, with lunch today. And we'll go ahead and get started.
Okay, start with our sour cream. I know everyone does this a little differently, but for me, I like to be able to taste sour cream in every bite instead of just the one down the center. And you'll see this goes by really quick. After the sour cream, we'll put the cheese on. Almost done. At least with the cheese. Perfect. Next, we'll go ahead and add our rice. Of course, this always works better if the rice is cool to the touch. The electronic music. With these, you go add as much or a little of all these that you of all the ingredients that you want. Um, if you get the recipe, the recipes are uh, customizable, so you can go ahead and customize them for your specific your specific taste. When I built the recipes, they're really designed to be all about you and your plate, how you like your food. Well, I like the recipes I'm preparing for you. Clearly, you're welcome to modify them to your, your specific taste.
Man, these are getting a little fat. And last, our chicken. Now the chicken we will put just in the center. And hopefully get it rolled. And it's salsa time. Salsa, I'm not so worried about how much or how little. It's all about the flavor. There we go. When it comes to rolling, it's pretty simple. Bring in the sides like so, fold them over, bring this side over, tuck it in, make sure, and then finish a roll. There you go. Again, I want to bring the flap over to where the rice begins kind of roll it back and finish rolling it. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go get this one going, get these almost done, and this one we'll put on our rack and then put it in our toaster oven because I like mine a little toasted. You're more than welcome to just throw this in the microwave, bring it to temperature. Um, I kind of like the toasted feel, so if you have that option, definitely use it. And we'll go and get these finished up. Now that they're all rolled, go ahead and kind of do the same thing with your plastic wrap. 
Actually, let's do this. Roll it up and then just tuck the corners in. Making these advanced is perfect, especially for those with a busy schedule and you don't have time to make yourself lunch every day. And the beauty about measuring everything out is to assure you that every single time you have one, it's going to taste the same and be just as filling as the last time. Perfect. So there you go. We've got four wrapped up for tomorrow and the rest of the week. We've got one in the toaster oven for this afternoon for lunch. And we'll be back when this thing comes out of the oven. All right, welcome back. Our toaster oven's just gone off, so let's go ahead and get that toasted burrito out of the oven. Ooh, look at that. Nice and toasty. All right, as you can see, nice color. Crispy shell, just like we wanted. Go ahead and cut this open. Oh yeah. Here you have it. Nice crispy burrito shell packed with all the goodness we put in there. Um, this burrito as we built it, 605 calories, 25 grams of fat, 26 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fiber. Now if you're a little cautious about the fat, which I personally wouldn't worry about, you can always slim down on the cheese as well as the sour cream. Other than that, there's really not too much fat in it. However, if a 600 calorie lunch isn't enough for you, then feel free to go ahead and add yourself some chips. Get yourself a serving of chips. And now you've got 750 calories full of goodness. All right, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you haven't already, be certain to subscribe to this channel. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, be certain to like the video. Uh, you can get the recipe at myplatemylife.com. And uh, Definitely enjoy these burritos, your ch shredded chicken burritos. That's what we have for lunch today. Thanks for watching My Plate My Life. What's on your plate?